Both the Harris and Trump presidential campaigns are taking a pause today as the nation marks 23 years since the September 11th terrorist attacks. Jared Hill is in Philadelphia to break down the big moments from last night's debate. Vice President Kamala Harris, President Biden, and former President Trump stood shoulder to shoulder at the 9-11 memorial in Lower Manhattan this morning. A calm contrast to last night's verbal sparring on the Philadelphia debate stage. This is the most divisive presidency in the history of our country. There's never been anything like it. They're destroying our country. Clearly, I am not Joe Biden, and I am certainly not Donald Trump. And what I do offer is a new generation of leadership for our country. Harris leaned into her prosecutor days to lay out her case against former President Donald Trump, while he sought to tie his opponent to her boss, clashing on the economy. I had no inflation, virtually no inflation. They had the highest inflation. I imagine and have actually a plan to build what I call an opportunity economy. And abortion. They've wanted it back in the states, and I did something that nobody thought was possible. The government, and Donald Trump certainly, should not be telling a woman what to do with her body. There were also some questionable statements, like a false claim about immigrants in one Ohio town. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. And a revelation from Harris. Tim Walls and I are both gun owners. We're not taking anybody's guns away. Both campaigns argue they won last night's debate. Harris says she's ready for a second one, while Trump and his campaign have given mixed signals. Voters are thinking about who they want in the Oval Office. We have things that we need, that we're interested in, that we need to know. If you're the 4%, 3.5% of undecided voters, you want a second, you want a third debate. In this race of razor-thin margins, both camps are back in swing states tomorrow. Jared Hill, CBS News, Philadelphia.